Hi, I'm Cheryl Piripato. I'm the Education and Communications Director at the Fort Wayne Children's Zoo in Fort Wayne, Indiana. The Fort Wayne Children's Zoo started a partnership with Purdue University uh, in 2015 specifically to support conservation of hellbenders and that project fits more broadly into our whole conservation effort at the zoo. Conservation is a big part of what we do all the time. We participate in more than 90 different programs to protect endangered and threatened animals from all over the world. But working with this Hellbender Project gives us a chance to focus on native species, um, which sometimes might be overlooked, even though they're right in our backyard. And we have a program called Kids for Nature, where every guest that comes in the zoo gets a washer to vote for an endangered animals that they would like to see the zoo support with actual funding. We had a great reaction from our guests as they learned about hellbenders. It's not an animal that everyone is familiar with. So we were able to reach more than 240,000 people just with our Kids for Nature program alone. Hellbenders had some pretty stiff competition. They were up against giraffes and tigers, but they had a great showing and um, got about a quarter of the votes. When you come to the zoo, you see a thousand animals, but you won't see hellbenders. They're cared for behind the scenes because they need a special environment. We're learning a lot as we go about um, captive management of this species, and we love sharing that information among other zoos and researchers so we can get better at what we do and hopefully contribute to the preservation of this important species. Hi, my name is Dave Messman. I'm a zookeeper here at the Fort Wayne Children's Zoo. I'm one of three zookeepers that takes care of the Eastern Hellbenders here at the zoo. So it was an honor for the Fort Wayne Zoo to be the first of the three zoos in Indiana to receive these young Hellbenders. Purdue hatched these animals from eggs at about two and a half years old. They brought them here so that we could grow them up to be a little bit larger animals, uh, to be re-released into the wild in hopes that they're a big enough size that they won't get predated so quickly by other animals. Working with the hellbenders has been really interesting. I've never worked with them before, so over the past seven months, We've been getting to know each other a little bit. The hellbenders need very clean water. We use kind of a natural 220 gallon system, kind of like an aquarium, but these guys actually stay cleaner than fish. The zoo also is cooperative with other places like Purdue, who one of their researchers has come up recently and drew blood from the hellbenders. Forming connections with those people, you can ask them questions about their behavior, about their appearance. It's very interesting to do. It's interesting to see how these little guys are growing every three months. Hopefully around 2017 or so, these animals will be retrieved by Purdue and we'll all go down to southern Indiana, watch them be re-released into the wild where these animals should be. We're really happy with what we're doing to help the Hellbender, and we're looking forward to working with them more in the future.